Hey and welcome into this new video to Express. Let's see today how to target professional and businesses effectively. So LinkedIn ads are powerful tools to consider. This beginner guy is going to be helping you to get started with their key features and sharing tips to maximize your results. So let's get started. So we are inside LinkedIn. The very first thing you're going to do, of course, is to set up a LinkedIn campaign manager account. So inside LinkedIn campaign manager or directly here into LinkedIn, click into the option that says work. If you don't see it, you don't have to worry about it. Just focus into the option that says for business. Here into the for business, what we can do is to choose the option that says advertise on LinkedIn or choose the option that says marketing. Directly here into marketing, you can see that we have the advertised. So I'm gonna click the advertise. This will take you to the campaign manager. So if you don't have already an account, follow the prompts to create one account. So it's gonna be asking you, of course, to get started here into setting up a campaign manager account. In this case, choose your account name and the associate at LinkedIn page. You can add a page of your LinkedIn if you wanted to. Copy and paste your LinkedIn. You have the currency to set this up and here to agree and create an account. So your account should be created in no time. So in this case, what I want to be doing here is to create a new campaign. Let's go for it, let's get started. Now, as you can see, we are inside the account security settings. Sometimes it might be really important to enable the two-step verification center in order to continue. Now let's name the campaign name. Let's say for example here that I wanted to do is to look out for visits on the LinkedIn. Now I'm going to be choosing the objective. In this case, what I'm going to be doing here is to choose something that aligns with my business goals. If you only scroll here, brand awareness is to reach more people with your post. Website business is to grab more click into your landing page. In this case, let's go for brand awareness. If you want more objectives like new generation, you can choose advanced mode. Let's only focus into the very easy way. If you focus into advanced mode, you can see that there is more objectives, more ad format and targeting options. So my group objective, for example, should be the brand awareness. Now here have the budget optimization. In this case, it's going to be, let's say, for example, if I enable this, it's going to be helping us to distribute the group budget across the best performing campaigns for better basis. This is only for people who have more than one ad to add it into a campaign. So if you're actually only, let's say, for example, adding a post and let's say in this case, brand and wellness, the budget optimization is not recommended for this tool. In this case, I'm going to go for the run continues from a start date. And let's say, for example, we start from tomorrow and let's go for next. Now, defining an actual target audience. You can choose from a LinkedIn template and here I can choose a template, for example, people who are expertised in computer science, corporate professionals, events planners, and so much more elements. Let's say, for example, that I only focus into the profile basis and here I go for locations. And you can look out for some other countries, for example, let's say, or assume Canada. So I enable Canada I enable, for example, the states, and lastly, I can enable Ireland. And here are my locations. Into the right part, you can see that there is the forecast of results. Now, this results is going to be helping us to calculate the estimate of how many people might be checking out our uh, our ad, our campaign, depending on the bet, depending on the budget, depending on the targeting, the start, the end dates, and more and more elements. So based on all the elements that I just chose, this is the audience size that might be getting resourced for the next 30 days. So if I choose only seven days, let's say that I might be getting spending $2,000. Now the audience profile language, usually in this case, I'm going to go for English and save this audience. In this case, let's say, for example, this is just a starter audience. So we are now defining the target audience. Let's choose the ad format in order to continue. So the ad format is going to be helping you if this is a single image, if this is a video, or showcasing the required ad format. So we can ask you to see it actually linked in the page if you wanted to, or just leave it as it is. In this case, it's going to be asking us to create a company or a showcase page to set up an actual ad format. If you don't have one, you can create one into the section that says add new. This one should be prompting us into the section that says create a LinkedIn in the page. So what I can do is to choose to create, let's say for example, a traditional um, school page, a company or a showcase page. Whether that could be like a small, medium or large company, depending on what is the actual element that you chose. 
In this case, it's going to be asking you for the name, the LinkedIn company, the website, the industry, the organization size, the organization type, the tagline, and you want to verify that you're authorized representative of this organization, you have the right to act on this path and the creation management on this actual page. And here is my LinkedIn page. Now here's the actual placement and lastly the budget and the schedule. So in this case, I'm going to go for the daily budget. And in this case, what I want to be doing here is to try to aim for the most affordable prices for all of us. For example, here daily budget needs to be at least only $10. So if I enable only $10, as you can see, here's my start date. And we don't have add end date yet, but you can see that we have now the, start, the total spent from, let's say, $2,000 to $160, which is much more affordable. And these are the reach for people who might be checking out our actual setup. So lastly, we get into save and continue. And lastly, creating and actual launching the ad. So creating your ad, uploading your creative elements, images or videos, and craft compelling ad copy. So preview your ad to ensure everything looks good. So this could be my destination URL and here into the introductory text, let's say for example, film. And this is how it should be appearing to your actual ad directly inside a campaign. I'm going to hit into save my app so they can be focusing later on to promote this actual stuff. And here's the forecast resource. You can save and exit and get started here. So guys, as you can see, we can just get started to set up your first LinkedIn advertising campaigns directly into the advertised analyze you might be seeing the inside text the combos and tracking the website actions and a few recommendations to make it more efficient and to downspend a lot directly into the campaigns manager guys so there you have it guys with that being said we have now reached the very end of the video but don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more great tools of how to get started and select it in insightful marketing guides thank you so much for watching the video guys hopefully with all that being said you can see your brand new section of text rest see you next time